What's going on everyone? It's your man Brock Cage is back at it again with another video. And today I'm gonna be reacting to a channel called Story Booth. Now if you're not familiar with Story Booth, it's basically a website where they take your real life stories and they animate them. A link will be in the description below if you enjoy this or you can comment down below if you want to see more of this. But the thing is, if I leave a link down in the description, and if you click it and go to the website, you could possibly be in the next video. <laughs> uh, there literally can't be any easier way. Actually, no, there probably is. <laughs> but anyway, the one I'm going to be reacting to today is Living with Tourette Syndrome. Now, I'm sure a lot of you probably know what Tourette Syndrome is. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm sure a lot of you know what Tourette Syndrome is. In this case, I'm pretty sure they're referring to the type where you just scream out profanity randomly. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. We are so excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win $100,000. Oh, I don't know if I can show you this advertisement. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. I have Tourette syndrome and basically what it is, it's a neurological condition or brain thingy that as I like to call it, that causes me to do certain movements and blurt things out and shout things out that I can't control at all. For me, Tourette's is really hard. I, I have more of the severe side of it, and it really hurts. Um, a part of my Tourette's is echolalia and copulalia. I don't know if you know what they are, but... Yeah, big words. If only I didn't fail vocab. I mean, what? Echolalia is the compulsion or, like, the tick to repeat words that I've said or phrases that I've heard other people say and coprolalia is a really horrible one. It's a it's a part of my Tourette's. Ten percent of people with Tourette's they, they have coprolalia and it's where you sh shout and swear rude and obscene language and just rude and socially unacceptable words and phrases and I'm in therapy for Tourette's. Um, we do stuff like we retrain my tics to be something else so they don't hurt or so that it's not as bothering. Um, suppressing tics is basically where I'm holding it in deep down inside me. I can hold it in for a while, but not for long. I usually hide it with smaller tics like eye blinking or, or rolling of the eyes. And um, suppressing my tics, for me, makes me feel really ill afterwards. And it just makes me feel really sick and tired some of my short and simple tics are um I'm, I'd, I'd blink or i'd roll my eyes to the back of my head um i'd shoulder shrug and i'd move my head and and um i'd like kick my leg out another tick that i used to have is i'd um get my hand and i'd click my knuckles but they wouldn't need clicking so i'd push my knuckles down and down and i'd have all swollen and bruised fingers it wasn't very nice Yo, I honestly feel bad for this woman. Like, I try to crack my knuckles and stuff, but sometimes they don't crack. But I never, like, push my hand on the table or anything. And it's sad that she feels like she has to. Um, my teachers know, my class knows, and I do get help if I um, can't, if I'm ticking a lot in lessons, I'll have this thing called a tick room, and I'd go in there alone, and I'd just let it out, and then go back up to lessons. That kind of reminds me, when I was in, like, first grade, and I used to cough a lot, and this one time I remember, like, I couldn't stop coughing, and I just went to the drinking fountain, and I would just, like, cough throughout the hallway, like, no joke. It's really hard to concentrate in lessons. I feel like everyone's staring at me, looking at me, like think I'm really weird because I do these random movements that I really can't control. My friends at school are really accepting of my Tourette's and they do sometimes point it out, which is annoying. My family also is really accepting, but 
I just wanted to tell people with any disability or struggle with anything in life, just remember that it will get better. There, will, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, remember a motto for life, people, is there are people out in the world, no matter who you are, that don't think you're a weirdo. That's the motto for anybody watching this. And we'll just have a little faith. You hear that? Have a little faith, people. Like, no, no matter what, God will make it better. Even though that's not exactly what she said. But, let's be honest, that's what she meant to say. Alright everyone, so the video was coming up a little bit short, so... Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna react to one more. Just to prolong the video. Cause, I thought, I can't leave y'all like that! Six minutes? Nah, I can do better. So, let's go ahead and react to another one. This one's called Busted. I got caught plagiarizing my homework. And I saw this one before. And the reason I decided to react to it is because this is something I feel like just about everyone can relate to. Or maybe not everyone. But, uh... Anyway, uh, let, let's just start the video. In English class of the 8th grade, our teacher gave us an assignment to write a poem and present it to the class. We got about two to three weeks to write the poem, but for some reason I just couldn't pull any ideas together. I just couldn't think of anything, and I told myself that I was bad at poems, and that just really unmotivated me. So I went on Google, and I looked up poems. You just looked up poems? Come on, girl! At least, at least, um, type in uncommon poems or uncommon poets or something. Or search up ranking of poets and then choose one that's close to the bottom. Come on, girl! Because I really just wanted to cheat. Now, our teachers were really big on plagiarism and that it was really important in our school that we don't plagiarize or copy any big assignment but uh, i'm pretty sure that's like every school <laughs> i'm pretty sure no school is like like and it's all right if you plagiarize every now and then <laughs> that just slipped my mind and i wasn't really thinking of it at the moment so i went on google and i found the perfect poem and I decided to change up a couple words, and the deadline was the next day, so I really just needed to pull something quick together. So I turned it in, and I noticed the next day in class that she gave our poems back, but she didn't give it back to me. She pulled me out in the hallway. Wouldn't it be funny if the reason for that was, like, whatever this girl's name is? Your poem's gonna be in a museum! Yay! and I just busted into tears. I was so embarrassed and so ashamed of myself for plagiarizing something, because I, I never would have done it, and I'm a good student, but I just didn't know what to do, so I decided to plagiarize, which wasn't a good idea. Yeah, that's the, that's the sad thing, is like plagiarizing, you really don't think about it until after you get caught and then you think, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done it. I, to be honest, I kind of know from experience. I mean, what? <laughs> I had to get a referral because it was mandatory, but she understood um, me and she said, um, I know you're a good student and I know you wouldn't normally do this, so... You can turn in another poem. You'll just deduct 10 points off of it because of plagiarism. My dad and I had a really long talk about it, and I got a referral, and I got three days of lunch detention. Yeah, um, when I plagiarized, my teacher made a video and sent it to me, basically rubbing it in my face. Luckily, my teacher was really nice. That was just mandatory that I had to get lunch detention. But it really did teach me a really big lesson never to plagiarize. 
and that honestly it's just better to take a fourth and some more effort because the next poem I turned in for the next assignment I got a really good grade on and honestly the poem was really good yeah that's what I'm talking about yeah you go you go okay I'm sorry <laughs> so if you put your mind to something you'll always succeed it just make sure to put in effort and hard work and you'll end up doing pretty good. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh. Anyways, everyone. That's going to pretty much wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you would want to see more of these animations. Or there's a couple other channels that make the same type of animations. Like real life stories and stuff. It's pretty cool. So comment down below if you would want to see some of that. Or more of this. <laughs> Whatever. And like comment, subscribe with notifications on. I love you all and peace.